Dracula's Light, St. Anne's Church, and Dracula is associated with church, believe it or not. Well, the man who wrote Dracula is from Dublin, Bram Stoker from Clontarf. So Bram Stoker, the man who wrote Dracula, born in Dublin during the famine. And he was a very sick child, it was more easy to read a bedtime story, something very scary, but the occult supernatural. And also during the famine, he would have seen people walking the streets of Dublin, pale in complexion, darker in the eyes, and sometimes they were bleeding at the gums because they were suffering with a disease called cholera. And Dracula is two words in the Irish language. Drac and Kula means bad blood. So we've two languages in Ireland, Irish and English. And you will see Irish all around you. Like Bolly Hotlia, that's Dublin and Irish. Falls to Bolly Hotlia, welcome to Dublin City in Irish. So they're very different languages. Only spoken though in the west of Ireland today. But we all learn Irish in school. So we're on our detour. Okay? So we'll just be a few minutes on our detour. But this street is called Maxaw Street. And it's named after the Prince of Orange, or the Earl of Nassau, and his name was William of Orange, and he was from Holland. And he fought a very famous battle in Ireland, called the Battle of the Boyne. And it was a battle between Catholics and Protestants of Ireland, also Britain and Europe. So in Ireland, the French, they were fighting on behalf of Irish Catholics. And we had a Danish and a Dutch fighting on behalf of Irish Protestants and the British, of course, English as well. And most Irish people are fighting under King James, who was originally from Scotland, was the King of England as well. But he left us on the battlefield, he fled, left us all there to be beaten by William of Orange. And ever since then we called him Seamus O'Kaka. So Seamus is the Irish for James, and Kaka is international. So no one leaving us here. And that battle can still be seen in Ireland today because the Irish flag is green, white and orange. Green for Catholics, white for peace and orange for Protestants. Northern Ireland is part of the United Kingdom. And this country left the United Kingdom in the year 1922 after wars for independence. So the last time we turned right, towards the house where Oscar Wilde would have lived, this time we're turning left. Towards the house where he was born in the year 1854. We'd stop for a brief moment at the second lamppost on the left-hand side. There we are on the left-hand side, the plank behind the lamppost. Oscar Wilde, born in this house in 1854. The Rugus of that's Irish for born in this house in 1854. And here we have the Dark Station, Dark is Dublin Area Rapid Transport. And it's called Pierce Street Dark Station, named after Patrick Pierce, who proclaimed Ireland independence in 1916. It was also used in a movie called Michael Collins. And Michael Collins was the man credited with achieving Irish independence, so the movie was made here, painted in these colours in 1994 for that movie, Michael Collins, who led the Irish to independence in 1921.
So on the left hand side will be an extension of Trinity College. Also some playgrounds in there as well and some games and things for kids. But when we turn left, it'll be Pier Street. On Pier Street today is extension of Trinity College. Trinity College is 17,000 students, 400 years old, so there's more of Trinity than these streets as well. Also civil service buildings here. On the right hand side, we have St. Mark's Church. Consecrated in 1787, full working use in 1974. It's where Oscar Wilde was baptized. Where they spent some time in the fish box for being a lot of oil. Now on the right hand side of Pierce and Sons. And the plaques over Pierce and Sons are from Patrick and William. We were playing guard in the Independence 1916 and fought the week long battle against British rule on Street Hill in 1916. Executed for the role they played in the main of jail and stopped for 16. Here's these girls again, having a good time, get very fit. Oh, that one. Calm down, bus driver, you're getting very excited seeing those good looking girls. Hey, how you doing ladies? Having a good time in Dublin? Where are you going later on? Just want to be a tour guide, just want to show them around, you know? Tour guide, tour guide, yeah. It's all part of the job, I, I like meeting new people all the time anyway, so. You're right, we'll go back to the tour now. Okay, how you doing ladies? Yeah. On the right hand side, Pier Street, Garda Station. And Garda is our police force of Ireland. And it's short for, in the Irish language, which is a mouthful now, Gardaí, Siakana, and Ahir. So that means, Gardaí does a piece of Ireland. And they were set up in 1922, when this country became independent, as an unarmed police force, still one of only five unarmed police forces in the world, including New Zealand, Norway, Britain, Iceland, and Ireland. I'm getting very entertained looking at these now. <laughs> They're in a race night, but we'll see if I can go on that later on. I said that the bus driver on a break then will join them. We're trying to help them head along the way. So we usually have two lanes to travel through.